Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niam to LoveThatFace.com and if you do a lot of academics, uh, a lot of lecturing, uh, then you live in PowerPoint. Sometimes I think my whole life revolves around PowerPoint. I think I've had dreams in a PowerPoint format. So uh, those of us who do a lot of academic things certainly depend uh, on PowerPoint heavily uh, unless you're uh, a Mac person. But um, one of the problems that I had, and I was that I had to do a, a pretty big lecture recently, and my video files wouldn't play. And you know, this has happened to me sporadically um, uh, over time, and I've seen it happen to a lot of people at, at meetings. So I found out what was wrong, and I found out a little trick. So if you uh, go to your file, you should do this on all of your PowerPoint presentations that that you update. And if you go to the file and select uh, Optimize Media Compatibility, and I'll show you the exact um, slides of this in a second, um, uh, what it does, it, it um, corrects for previous versions of PowerPoints for some of your media if it was done in an earlier version of PowerPoint, and it also helps um, fix linked files. So just because you drag a, a video in and just because you play it, like if you do your slideshow on your computer, and it might work well, but you plug it into a projector and that's when I've had problems. So this is a simple fix and it saved my butt and I hope that uh, you find it useful as well. Um, thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Joe and I am to love that face. So the first step is to go to file and uh, this is especially important if you're doing multiple computers uh, on the same presentation at meetings, etc. And when you go to file, you want to select media, uh, optimize media compatibility. So that's the key here is to select that. Once you select that and click the icon, then this screen will open telling you that your optimization is in process and it's all automatic and it'll fix everything up and you should be fine. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niam to CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com and whether you're a student or resident studying cosmetic facial surgery uh, or a beginning practitioner or a seasoned practitioner, we all know that we don't have enough time to learn the latest advances in cosmetic facial surgery. Uh, I have my new video series, Volume 2, that is out at CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com and I have made step-by-step -step narrated videos in a cookbook fashion that are high definition and you can preview these and download them from my website so you own the videos and you can view them 24 7. I have tried to utilize the most common cosmetic facial surgery topics including but not limited to a brow and forehead lift, uh, eyelid surgery, cheek implants, chin implants, uh, laser resurfacing, chemical peeling, minimally invasive or weekend facelift, comprehensive facelift, uh, mole and lesion removal, and many other topics. If you have an interest in contemporary cosmetic facial surgery and like to see a step-by-step -step narrated, easy-to-learn version that you can view at your convenience, visit CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com to preview my videos. I'm Dr. Joe Niamtu. Thanks for your time.